Hi guys, this is Miss Gold. Today's lesson is Module 4, Lesson 3, Percent Increase and Decrease. Your outcomes for today's lesson are students solve percent problems when one quantity is a certain percent more or less than another. Students solve percent problems involving a percent increase or decrease. The first thing I'd like you to do is to pause the video to complete the opening exercise and unpause the video when you're ready to continue. So what you should have come up with here is a double number line and what I would have started with here is the bottom part where we label the number of rings we have. First we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And in terms of the percentage, the ones you would have been able to fill in first, when you have 0 rings that represents 0 percent. And when you have five rings, that's the 100% because that's the entire collection. So once I know that I have five rings, what I can do is take 100, divide by five, and what we find is that is equal to 20. So that tells me that one ring represents 20%. So our numbers go up each time, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. Part B says what percent is represented by the whole collection of rings and what percent of the collection does each ring represent? So the entire collection is the whole and that is represented by 100% and you can see that connection here with five rings is 100%. And as we talked about with each of the rings, it's going up by 20% each time. So each ring represents 20% of the collection. Example one says Cassandra's aunt said she will buy Cassandra another ring for her birthday. If Cassandra gets the ring for her birthday, what will be the percent increase in her ring collection? What you need to know in order to answer this question is the percent change formula shown above. Percent change is equal to 2 minus from over from. Now explain the to and from with the beginning of this example. We know that in Cassandra's case, she is starting with five rings. So that is going to be my from. What her aunt is proposing to do is to buy one more ring, and so her collection is going to increase in size to six rings. By identifying these two elements, we're then able to just plug these numbers into the percent change formula. So we're going to start with the formula, percent change is equal to two minus from over from. At this point, it's just a matter of plugging in what we already identified as two and from. So my two is six, my from is five, so we have six minus five divided by five, giving us one fifth. And if I divide these, I get 0.2, and that is 20%. So the answer to this question is her ring collection will have a 20% increase. When we're talking about percent increase, we can also see examples of percent decrease, and that's what example two does for us. Ken said that he is going to reduce the number of calories that he eats during the day. Ken's trainer asked him to start off small and reduce the number of calories by no more than 7%. Ken estimated and consumed 2,200 calories per day instead of his normal 2,500 calories per day until his next visit with the trainer. Did Ken reduce his calorie intake by 7% justify your answer. Notice the word justify implies that we have to show work and possibly even explain our reasoning that supports our answer. So the first thing I want to do here is I want to identify the to and the from. So it was stated that his normal calorie in intake per day was 2,500. So it was stated that his normal calorie intake was 2,500 calories per day. So the from is 2,500 because that's what he would have started at. And then he reduced his number of calories to become 2,200. So I'm going to start here again by plugging into our percent change formula. Then I'm going to substitute our to and from. And when I subtract these two, I get negative 300. 
Then we're going to divide by 2,500. And when I do that, I get a negative 0 0.12, which is equivalent to a 12% decrease. Now notice that the negative here is what implies that it's a decrease. We need to answer our final question. Did Ken reduce his calorie intake by 7%? We found that he decreased his calorie intake by 12%, so he did not follow the instructions of his trainer. Example three, finding the original amount given as a percent increase or decrease. The population of cats in a rural neighborhood has declined in the past year by roughly 30%. Residents hypothesize that this is due to wild coyotes preying on cats. The current cat population in the neighborhood is estimated to be 12. Approximately how many cats were there originally? So in this scenario, we have an unknown, and that unknown is the original number of cats. So let's let x equal the original number of cats. In order to come up with an equation for this problem, I really have to walk through what would have been done to come up with the 12 in the first place. So if we think about the cats from last year, we would have started with our original population of x. And they're saying that it decreased by 30%. Now, when you say 30%, a percentage is never just the percentage by itself. It's always a percentage of something. So we would have decreased by 30% and 30% is 0.3, but it's a percentage of the population. Of in math means to multiply and the population at the time was x. So this is where I come up with the expression x minus 0.3x. And when we subtract those, we should get the current population. So it's equal to 12. One thing you need to realize here is the coefficient in front of the x is a one. So when I do one minus 0.3, we're left with 0.7. And this makes sense because if you have a population and it decreases by 30%, you would be left with 70% of the population. So it makes sense that we would have 0.7 of the population left. Last thing I need to do is to solve for x. So I have multiply by 0.7, so I'm going to do the opposite operation and divide by 0.7. Cancel these out, and I'm left with x equals 17.14, and that's an approximation. And so we need to give a final answer here. If I round this answer, we're gonna say that there was about 17 cats originally. So this problem is a little bit different. While it involves the idea of percent increase or decrease, we're not really using the formula. We're just walking through the process of how they would have come up with the final results and then solving for the unknown. Example four, finding the original amount given a percent increase or decrease. Lou's math level on her achievement test in seventh grade was a level of 650. Her math teacher told her that her test level went up by 25% from her sixth grade test score level. What was Lou's score level in sixth grade? So notice the unknown here in this situation is her sixth grade score. So let's let x equal Lou's sixth grade score. Similar to our previous question, I'm going to walk through the scenario of how they would have come up with the idea that her new level is 650, and that's a 25% increase from last year's score. So to calculate this, they would have started with last year's score, and it's an increase because it says her score went up by 25%. So an increase would imply we would add. And again, 25% is never going to be by itself. It's always 25% of something. So this would be 0.25, 25% is a decimal, of means to multiply, and it's of her sixth grade score, which we called x. And this would be equivalent to her new score of 650. 
Similar to the last question, x is 1x. So when I add these two together, we get 1.25x is equal to 650. I want to get x by itself. It's being multiplied by 1.25, so I'm going to divide both sides by 1.25. These cancel 1.25 over here, and we're left with x equals 520. So our final answer here is her sixth grade score was 520. In this lesson, we have learned about percent change, meaning percent increase or percent decrease. The formula that we focused on was percent change is equal to 2 minus from over from.